Hi there. If you wouldn't mind, put your hands up real slow. Shh, there's no need to explain. I'm not a guard, as will soon become obvious. That's right. I'm here for the same reason you are to steal data from the general's top secret servers, though I'm surprised you got here before me. I thought I had mapped out the earliest possible route of infiltration, but it looks like I'm a little late to the party. <laughs> so, who are you with? CIA? MI6? or some off-the-books organization I've never had the pleasure of hearing about. I bet it's that last one. You're too good to be a normal asset. Just not good enough to hear me coming, I guess. Listen, I don't want things to get messy. Shooting you or having you hand over the data you're in the process of stealing. These aren't fun options. And I bet, if we go high enough up the food chain, our bosses probably play golf together. So, why don't we keep things friendly? There's another data terminal right next to the one you're working on. I'll take that one. We each get our own copy of the data, and everybody's happy. Anybody asks, I'll tell them I never saw anyone else. If we have a deal, I'll start putting my gun down. Don't get twitchy. Just keep your hands to yourself. For now, at least. I said not to move your hands. I didn't say you couldn't look at me. <laughs> Go ahead. Take it all in. Not many people get to see me in my work outfit and live to fantasize about it. Aren't you lucky? <laughs> if you're wondering, it's a bullet-resistant nano-weave bodysuit with limited active camo capabilities. Probably costs more than the annual GDP of this third world wonderland. Of course, right now it just looks like a classic black cat suit that's very flattering to my body. Isn't it impressive? <laughs> Which I'm referring to is up to you. So, what's under that fancy tux of yours? Any workwear? Or are you going commando on a mission? <laughs> okay, fine. Keep your trade secrets. I have ways of finding out. How long have you been stationed here in the lovely country of Valverde? Is this a weekend trip for you? Or something longer term? Do you really have to be so coy? This would be much more interesting if we treated this like the impromptu date that it is. Got to know each other a little. <laughs> Come on, play with me. Let's have a little tete-a-tete. -tete. <laughs> share a few secrets we aren't supposed to share. Do something we'll both regret by the morning. We're spies. We should live short and dangerous lives. Fine, I'll start. I've been here for months now. You wouldn't think getting paid to hang around a lush tropical paradise could get so tedious. But it does. By day, I'm a giggling, gasping socialite, spending daddy's money finding myself on the glittering beaches and ducking men who never had to learn the word no. And at night, I'm General D'Souza's shadow, keeping an eye on his every move 
taking pictures of him when he thinks no one's watching, looking for any material we can use. This job can be really exhausting sometimes. It's a wonder I have any time to sleep. It would be nice having someone around who could be trusted to watch my back. A partner I wouldn't have to lie to or suddenly cancel plans with. Someone who gives much-needed foot massages at the end of the day. You know anyone like that? <laughs> Look at you. How can someone so handsome be so nervous? Now, haven't you been in this game a while? Or are you new? <laughs> I bet you're new. You look so... tense. <laughs> After a few close calls, you'll learn to let go of your inhibitions. Maybe you should tag along with me for a while. I could give you some much-needed experience. You know, I don't believe this is the first time I've seen that gorgeous face of yours. Now that I think about it, I remember seeing you at the general's party last night, up in his private high-rise downtown. You were on the upper level, overlooking the main floor all night, brooding so stoically all by yourself. You couldn't be pulled away from that railing with a crowbar. I nailed you as an agent right then and there. Really? I did. You wouldn't have been more obvious if you were constantly talking to your wrist. You're lucky the general's men don't know what to look for. And the fact that all eyes are on me that night. Oh, you must have noticed me. I was the center of attention. Little black dress that was just a bit too short and tight. Swirling around a cocktail making sure everyone could hear my jokes. When the main performance started, half the crowd hung back at the bar to keep my company. Of course I was being obvious. That's the key to blending in. They really teach you boys nothing about the social arts of spycraft. See, if I was like you, equally attractive, but sulking in a corner trying to look mysterious, Everyone who came up to bother me would be the ones controlling the scenario. They could scrutinize me at their pleasure. But when I act outgoing, capture people's attention, they aren't wondering who I really am. They're listening to my stories, wanting to be part of the show I put on for them. If you have confidence and don't question yourself, they won't either. I'm being completely serious. The next time you go to a party, be obvious. Be flirtatious. A loud drunk. Be an asshole to the waitstaff. Piss someone off. Make people feel stupid for even wondering if you're a spy. Just some free advice for you. I will admit, though, I may have overdone it just a bit last night. I didn't mean to draw General D'Souza's attention, but before I know it, I'm backing away to refill my drink, and I bump into his ample gut. And you know what that authoritarian pig does? Puts his fat hand right on the side of my ass. Now, a guy like you has some nice conversation with me first and pulls that move. I might give you some leeway on account of all those good looks you got going on. But D'Souza, it took all my willpower not to break his wrist and introduce him to the business end of the pistol strapped to my thigh, just a few inches away from where he grabbed me. He's lucky he has so many guards watching him, and that if I killed him, my months of work would be wasted. And this is a lesson too, by the way. It's called Disarming a Pretty Lady by Being Charming. And by charming, I mean being handsome and practicing active listening. 
it should come pretty easy to you. I have a feeling it's going to come in handy for you many times in the course of your career. People will spill their whole life story to you if you just act nice and interested. So much more effective and cleaner than a gun. How's your hat going? This last sequence is a killer. You're not even on the last sequence? Weren't you here before me? <laughs> I'm not judging. And I'm in. Let's start the download. Still working on it, huh? I hope you aren't getting performance anxiety just because a pretty lady's watching. <laughs> Here. Relax. I'm just giving a nice shoulder massage to help you loosen up. Isn't the textured grip on these gloves so nice? I could climb up a glass exterior in the rain with these. Good. Drop those shoulders. Take your time with it. Mm, how about I offer a little incentive to finish? You see, when I first got here, I was just staying in some resort. They were charging me ridiculous prices because they sensed I was a foreigner with access to a lot of money. When I found out my stay here was going to be longer term, I said screw it and started renting a luxury condo, just to help me better blend in, of course. And my entire time here, I haven't met a single person I felt like inviting back to it. So much nice alcohol and comfy seating going to waste. Isn't that a shame? I think it's about time I had someone visit to help me empty some bottles and break in the furniture. Let me tell you, I've gotten very good at making tropical cocktails since I've got here. I bet you don't have that kind of service at whatever dive you're staying at. It would be nice to have a place to unwind and relax, wouldn't it? And some company to enjoy. But, see, I have another problem that I could use some help with, and it's even worse than being lonely. This fancy spy suit I'm wearing, after a long day of working in a humid climate, it sticks to me pretty bad. Pretty much becomes a second layer of skin. It can be so hard for little old me to take it off by myself. It just loves to ride up and get stuck in all my crevices. You would not believe the wedgies I've just had to learn to live with. The boys in the lab say full skin contact is required for it to function properly, but I think they're just perverts, you know? <laughs> if I had someone to help peel this sticky little suit off me, well, I'd be very grateful to that person. I might even let them spend the night. You think you could help me with that? I think my attention's having the opposite effect in distracting you. I'm being so naughty, aren't I? <laughs> we only just met, and I have you wrapped around my finger. Come on, handsome. Don't give up now. You still gotta earn my company. One more digit. Come on, one more. You just gotta find the right spot for it. And... There. <laughs> I knew you could find it, hot stuff. Now download it already. 
We have more interesting things to do tonight. Don't you worry. By the time you fly out of here, you'll have learned so much about being an agent. And the most important lesson? How to have fun. <laughs>